WWE 2K23, my faction. Buckle up, you're not riding with 2K Punk. <laughs> happy New Year, everyone. I hope everyone had a safe and happy New Year. And wish you all the blessings and to be safe for 2024. That being said, it's gonna get the rules to enter my next VC giveaway contest. It's gonna be four winners, $30 VC for the system of your choice. Absolutely free, cost you nothing. Just be subscribed to the channel, hit the notification so you'll be notified when I'm going live with my live event VC giveaway contest. And if you subscribe and you're in my live, when I do the drawing, if I draw your name and you say you're here, you will win $30 VC for the system of your choice. So right now, we're gonna get into these pack openings that we got from the live event. So for this live event challenge, we got 10 free packs. We gotta use a pink diamond male superstar. It's a one-on-one -on -one match. So we're gonna go open those packs, not now, right now. So we're gonna have one of each. Let's see if we can pull anybody good. Let's go see. First pack, Superstar Series 1. Let's get a Cameron Grimes, Bronze. We already had. We also get a Trish Stratus Bronze Manager. We didn't have. Summer Heat, Basic Pack. Sapphire Trish Stratus. So two packs, we got two Trish Stratuses. We'll do this Basic Summer Slam Pack. And we got a Sapphire Mace. We already had duplicate. Let's see if I can get anybody I don't have. Right, let's pay back. We got a Sapphire Nikki Cross. Do Chaos, Chaos Deluxe Pack. We got an Amethyst Eric duplicate. See if we could get a card that we didn't have. Do a signature series. You want my autograph? We get an Amethyst Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase duplicate. Let me see. Let's we'll do let's still the Alphabet. Alphabet All Stars Deluxe Pack. And we get an Amethyst Wesley. We already had. I believe he was a live event qualification card with that promo drop. Dynamic Duels Deluxe. Slow it down a bit. See who we're gonna get. Julius Creed. Okay. Let's see what we should do next. A little basic fast lane pack. And we're gonna move with Carmella. So with the dangers on two. I do want that Diamond Eve Taurus. Not gonna get it here. We're gonna Amethyst Cameron Grimes. Let's do a uh, Survivor Series Deluxe. Survivor Series Deluxe. Okay, we got a diamond T bar. We'll take him. We'll definitely take him. This card looks good. It's then I could be always see it coming. It's heavy handed. I'm actually this opportunity on tip two. Decent looking T bar. T bar always has good cards in this game. Here we go. Mike Maestro's Deluxe. What do we get? Bang bang! We got a duplicate Amethyst Cactus Jack. Last one for the decorated. We're missing Diamond Shawn Michaels to get that Diamond Charlotte Flair. And we get a Ruby Trish Stratus. So we're getting a lot of Trish Stratuses. Not about three of them in these packs. All right, we have a little bit of my faction points left. So I really want to go for that decorated Diamond Charlotte Flair collector set reward. I'm only missing one card. I think it's Diamond Shawn Michaels. Take a quick look. Yeah. Yeah. 
Diamond Shawn Michaels. So we want to pull this card. I have a little bit of my faction points left, so we're going to go open one or two packs and see if we can pull this card. I believe we could afford two basics, so we'll take a little shot right here. We'll see if we can pull that Diamond Heartbreak Kid to get Diamond, the Queen, Charlotte Flair. You see a diamond glow, no diamond glow. Then we get an amethyst, the rock duplicate. Take one more pack. No diamond glow. Sapphire Kofi Kingston. All right, we took a little shot, but we'll be back for the queen because the king of two big pun needs to get his queen, Charlotte Flair. So we'll take a look at the new live events that dropped today. Big W for the community. We have six new live events. Each live event will grant you 10 free packs from various promos. So it's gonna be a fatal four-way steel cage and you will be needing either a female or male superstar on a certain tier. So for the pink diamond, you need a pink diamond. Female superstar can use anyone you want. For the emerald, you need an emerald male superstar to get any card you want. So it's not a card specific, so everybody should have emeralds all the way to pink diamonds in your collection. You've been grinding the game or you've been opening packs. And then you also have cards from the token market that you can use. So everybody should be able to do a pack opening, no excuses. Hopefully you can pull the cards you want. Everybody should be pulling at least some good cards. 60 free packs right for the emerald i will use emerald t-ball this die jack is really good it's thin like a b on tier three is a heavy handed on tier two everybody should have this card should be able to afford this card it's just a couple of tokens another good emerald card i would use is broken skull stone cold steve austin he was a locker code did expire already but if you guys did were playing this game and you entered this locker code you should have this card it's another good emerald card the reason I'm going for emerald cards is because you're going to be facing pink diamonds and you're going to be using emerald, you're going to want the best card you can get. So, this Stone Cold has Stain Like a Bee on tier 3 and he has Merciless Opportunist on tier 1 to help drain your opponent's health. So he has a good stun badge, even though he has Merciless Opportunist on tier 1, he still has. So. These, this is what you want to look at when you're picking the cards to do this challenge because you want to make the match easier for yourself and not hard, right? You make it harder by picking a bad card, you can make it easier by picking a good card. Another thing to take into account is going to be your manager. So what manager are you going to use, right? What manager do you use? What manager should you use? I use Pink Diamond Scarlet, which is one of my favorites, not only because she's absolutely gorgeous, but she gives you reversals. I love grapple, strike reversals. She also gives you grapple offense, finisher plus 12, strength plus 12. She's a really good manager. It's Pink Diamond Scarlet. It's Pink Diamond Santos Escobar is a clone of the attributes that are increased with Scarlet. And he's also a really good manager. But he's, he's a clone, basically the same as a Scarlet card. If you want to increase your submissions, I recommend Trish Stratus at Pink Diamond or Diamond. She gives you plus 12 on technical and power submission. Also grapple reversal and on your special and your finisher, she gives you a plus 12. She's also a really good manager. So pick the manager you want to increase the attributes you want. Another thing to take into account is we all get annoyed as we get these packs, it's going to be the side plates. So you want to equip side plates on the cards you're going to use for these challenges and just go down and look at what side plates you have i wouldn't use diamonds because you only want these side plates to last you know 10 matches or whatever the case is but uh emeralds can hold two side plates and uh, just look through your side plates things that increase reversals increase your submission pen escapes you know movement speed whatever attribute whatever way you want to improve your card just equip those side plates. We all, you know, we don't like getting packs of side plates when we do challenges, but listen, this is the time to utilize them. This is what they're for. So using these side plates in a good manager, that combination with a car that has good badges, 
you'll be able to make these live events a lot easier for yourself and your life a lot stressful. So that's my recommendation. I'm not going to go through every tier and every card you can get or should use or blah, blah, blah. Go through your collection, see what cards have good badges, put a good manager, put good side plays, should be good to go. Now for the Pink Diamond Female Challenge, I just want to see who we're going to have to face off against. So we use Pink Diamond Rare Ripley Live Event Reward. We'll use this card. I just want to see who we're going to be facing. So we're going to be facing three other Pink Diamonds. Okay. So Fatal 4-Way against Pink Diamonds on a steel cage. So yeah. I mean, when it comes to side plays and things of that nature, for the Pink Diamonds and Diamonds, it's not. I mean, still use them. But when you get to the Emeralds, the Sapphires, the Rubies, you're definitely going to want to use side plays in a good manner. That's when it's going to come in most handy. Um, Pink Diamonds, Diamonds, and Amethyst pretty much have good cards that you don't really have to do that but if you do it will make it like easier for a diamond so let me just see who we're gonna face so if we do a diamond challenge let me just look for a diamond card right here we'll just use a diamond Brock Lesnar see we're gonna face three pink diamonds as well yeah we're gonna face three pink diamonds as well so yeah so basically you're gonna be facing pink diamonds in, this, in these challenges so I'm going to take a quick look at the Emerald Challenges and for the Emerald, I already know what I'm going to show you. You're also going to be facing three pink diamonds for the Emerald. So again, side plates manager is going to be very crucial when you're facing pink diamonds and using the Emerald. So there you see we had to use three pink diamonds. Not going to play the match, but just give me a little bit of advice, hopefully it helps. So I'm going to let you know who I'm going to use for each challenge. I want you in the comments to let me know who you're going to use in each challenge and why. So for the Emerald, I'm going to use Broken Skull, Stone Cold Steve Austin. So for the Sapphire challenge, you need a Sapphire female. I'm going to use Sapphire Maurice for the token market. Stay like a bee, always see her coming on tier 3 and she has a merciless opportunist tier one with all the answers on tier two and i love her signature and her finisher they are super quick to pull off so for the next challenge it's going to be a male ruby superstar so the male ruby i'm going to use is ruby gunther staying like a bee on top tier four and he has a merciless opportunist and heavy handed on tier three three pieces and a biscuit that's all i'm going to need for this ruby Gunther to complete the challenge. So for the next challenge, we're going to need a female Amethyst card. So the female Amethyst card I'm going to use is Amethyst GG Dolan from the SummerSlam promo. I love this card. Stay like a bee Rabaraz on tier 3. She has a merciless opportunist on top tier 4. Love to use this card. She has a good submission and a great finish. So for the diamond challenge, you will need a diamond male superstar. I'm going to pick from the decorated promo collector's set reward, King of Kings Diamond 1998 Triple H. Stin like a B, top tier, merchandise opportunist on tier 3, as heavy handed on tier 2. He also has always here coming on top tier, so you do reversals and you gain a lot of your special meter, and you also have Rabble Rouser Wet Blanket on tier 1. Time to play the game! For the Pink Diamond Fatal 4-Way Cage Match, you need a female Pink Diamond Superstar. And I'm choosing from the Live Events Reward, Pink Diamond, Mommy, Rhea Ripley. Give me a Mommy with Stain Like a Bee, Heavy Handed, Merciless Opportunist, and a Rabble Rouse on top tier. And I'll always see it coming in Space Invader on tier 3. And I'll be her Bobby. Let's go! Day 1, January 1st, 2024. We got new Faction Wars rewards. We got Pink Diamond Umaga, Pink Diamond Tyler Breeze, Pink Diamond Queen Zelina, Pink Diamond Kofi Kingston. So we're gonna go take a look at these cards right now. See if they're any good. See if they give them any good badges. Ladies first, we're gonna take a quick look at Queen Zelina. Yeah, her attributes, her badges. She has Stay Like a Bee, Merciless Opportunist, Always See It Come and Go in Hot on Tier 2. She also has Pain Train on Tier 3, Dive Bomber Rage, and the 
determination on top tier. Here we take a look at Pink Diamond Tyler Breeze. Yes, then I could be heavy handed on tier two, merciless opportunist on tier three, he has always here coming on top tier, tier four. So overall, decent pack of the batters for Tyler Breeze. Here we get Pink Diamond, Kofi, he's bo bo bo. Yes, then I could be going in hot, swiftness on tier two. He has rival rouser on top tier with an energetic opportunist, born to fly, you would expect it, and demolition man he has dive bomb on tier three. Then we have Pink Diamond Umaga. Always a good card in this game. He has Stan like a B heavy handed on top tier. He has Merciless Opportunist on tier three and a wet blanket on tier two for notable badges. So this Umaga has a great package of badges. So those are the four Pink Diamond new Faction War rewards for day one, January 1st, 2024. So those four pink diamonds are tier one rewards. For tier two rewards, you get 6,000 My Faction points, 6,500 My Faction points, Latino Heat Deluxe Pack, and Diamond Contract Pack. For tier three, you get 4,000 My Faction points, 4,250 My Faction points. You get Amethyst, Side Plates, and Contract Packs. So this week for the Weekly Towers, week I believe is 46, it's going to be 30 tokens. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that bell so you'll be notified when I go live on my BC giveaway contest. That being said, thanks for always riding with me in 2023. Look forward for you still riding with me in 2024. Make sure you always buckle up. Don't ever forget that Jesus always loves you. God bless. The Rattlesnake, Stone Cold, Steve Austin, and the People's Pack Champ, 2K Party. We out.